So in this next video we are going to start interacting with objects on our game and we're going to use object interaction in order to score points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an object to interact with. So I select my object tool, I right click, add object and I'm going to choose an apple. Okay. Now I'm just going to hover over this apple, right click and I want to change the settings to make it a little bit bigger so we look for something that makes it bigger there we have it, size, scale, I'm going to go up okay and there we have our quite large apple in order to interact with alright so what I'm going to say is here I'm going to program our robot to say so we've already got our previous code okay but I'm just going to get rid of this here because we need to reprogram that so I'm just going to right click on that line and cut it out okay so we're going to say when we bump and we're going to say the apple so where's the apple? It will be an objects and apple so when we bump the apple we want to say game and we want to plus the score we then get to pick a color score there's different scores you can add to because different characters might have different scores different players might have different scores so we're going to start with the white so that's my score and I'm going to say the white score will go up by 10 points so whenever we touch the apple it's going to go up by 10 points. So let's just see if that works. So as we progress through the game, if I touch that apple, are we going to get plus 10 points? Yes, we are. You can see now up here, I've got 370 points. And that's because the apple didn't disappear when I touched it. So we're now going to counter program the apple here to say, so we right click and program that when we bump, and we're going to say when we bump the rover, and remember that our rover, the one that I'm using, is green. So color green. So when we bump the green rover so that nothing else can interfere with it, we want to say do. And we want to say, I think it's in combat, vanish. Okay, and that means, if I select me, that means that the apple, which is what we're coding, will vanish. All right, so when I bump into the green rover, vanish, and we want me to vanish, okay? So if this was something else, if rather than something that um, scored points um, and in fact made the robot disappear and cause game over, we could instead say vanish it. So vanish the rover. But we don't want that. We want the apple to disappear. So we're going to write on this again. I'm going to say OK. So now, as I go through, I get my 10 points. The apple disappears and I've only got 10 points which is what we wanted and I can continue to go on and win the game with the maximum number of points let me just show you it on the other side okay so I want to show you that if the apple was some sort of enemy so let's go in here and we'll reprogram that to say we don't want the score to go up when we hit the apple so I'm just gonna right click on this row here and I'm gonna cut that out and now we're gonna go back to the apple Oops. I'm going to say program, and we're going to say on the apple, when we bump the green rover, vanish it, and that's going to make us go, okay? So now when we play the game, you're going to see that causes some problems, because when I touch it, our character disappears, and then we'll have to initiate the game over.